What's poppin' all stars? Welcome back to my channel. It's Damn She Jamaican, your biggest and brightest shining star. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Mars in Gemini. So basically to start out this video, I'm just going to be talking about what Mars represents in the birth chart and what it means to have your Mars in Gemini. So Mars represents passion, it represents motivation, it represents your desires, your drive, how you go about accomplishing goals and how you go about conquering goals. Mars also rules how you are in bed and it also rules your sex drive. If you know your Mars sign, it lets you know how you like it in bed. So Mars in Gemini is actually a very neutral placement. Mars does okay here. It doesn't really mind being in Gemini for the simple fact that Gemini here allows for Mars to keep up with its energy. So basically having your Mars in Gemini, you're the type of person that's very hyper, you're very um, stimulated mentally, you're very good with words and you use your words to get shit done. Like you're the type of person that you're always on the go and you like talking to people, you know, you like um, being busy, you like having things to do and you like gossiping maybe, like talking to your friends, like finding out what's going on around the community. Gemini is ruled by the third house. So third house means communication, short travels, basic education. These people are very smart people and they know a little bit about everything. Now because Mars is the warlike planet, having Mars in Gemini, you could be kind of argumentative like you could be very um, witty with words like you're the type of person like like they, like they like to argue and they also may use foul language like they may curse a lot or just you know like that's how they express their Mars quality is by using their words so these people could be known for getting into arguments a lot or just being up for debating with people all the time like these people definitely also have like a split focus like they could be doing one thing and then like be doing a whole nother thing like say for instance they're at the gym like these are the type of people they have to work out with music or you know like they just like to like have a buddy or something in the gym with them that they work out with that they can talk to or just they like talking to people in the gym or just whatever it may be like these people are very active and they use their words like to help them get things done. These people definitely crave variety, even within friends or relationships. They're the type of people that kind of get bored easily with like the same old things. They always need to like find new places to go, new thing, you know, like new people to hang out with or whatever the case may be. Like they just like to be, um, they like to have variety. These people get kind of like, uncomfortable and st stable situations like if something is too settled for them like that can really like agitate them like they could get really irritated like they're not the type of people that like routines like they don't like to like like I'm a tourist so I'm good with like doing you know pretty much the same thing every day or like basically like I have a s routine that I follow but this person Mars and Gemini anybody with Je um, high Gemini traits in their chart would definitely like to um, switch up things you know they don't like to be too predictable you know like they always have something going on like I said and because they get bored easily they can also get distracted very easily so like their mind is always rushing like it's always being stimulated this Mars sign is really focusing a lot on like communication and like getting stuff done with being interactive with others so they're absolutely great multitaskers and they thrive really well in high-paced situation like when there's a lot going on they're the type of people that know how to handle chaotic situations or just situations where you know there's a lot going on now these people because they're always on the go and they're doing stuff they can't really see things through all the time like some not you know and this may differ from everybody like no two Mars and Gemini people are the same but for the most part like if you make plans with them like they may not always fall through Gemini is an air sign so these people um, air is like about communication you know it's about talking and 
getting to figure out information. So having Mars in Gemini, you're the type of person that if you, even if you just say something, you could just be talking just to talk. And sometimes that's why people don't really, like things can fall on deaf ears basically. Like you don't always follow through with what you say. You know, like you don't always hold your word. Like, and it's not like you intentionally do it. It's just air, like air can't really be, it's there, but it's like you may have all these ideas, but you can't grasp it unless you have like earth in your chart or some, or you know, people around you that got a lot of earth that can help you to ground your ideas and help you see things through to the end. Like these people are very good at networking, you know what I'm saying? They have a lot of friends, they go out, you know, they're always doing something. Like these people are very energetic people and they just don't like to be bored like they get bored very easily so these people are also very good with um because gemini rules the hands so they may be very skillful people they may be good with working with their hands like be a mechanic or working with tools they could be like a makeup artist or painter like whatever like hand crafts you do like anything that works with your hand they may talk with their hand a lot um they may yeah they actually do they may talk with their hand a lot you know um, also, they're very good with language, like some of these people may know more than one language or just may be intrigued by different languages and stuff, like they like to, um, they, th that's like very mentally stimulating to them, like they like to um, know information about people and different cultures and stuff like that is really interesting to them. So like I said, with Mars being in this sign, since Mars is the warrior and, um, it's aggressive, like I said, from a young age, these people could be like, use foul language a lot, like I, I stated, they cursed a lot. And I'm not repeating myself, I'm just trying to get you guys to understand that Mars in Gemini is like a placement where the words is what you use for battle. Like, it's like how you get things done is by your communication. And sometimes, because Mars is an, is an aggressive planet, your speech could be aggressive. You could be loud as fuck when you talk, you could curse a lot, you could be quick to argue with somebody you know what I'm saying like that's just who you are so with that like the work Mars also being um, about working and stuff like these people could multitask with their jobs they could have more than one jobs you know they go from one job to the next like they just never settle or just you know be like too too stable like they always got to find something to do Another thing with Mars and Gemini is you want to be careful about contracts and like legal papers or papers if your Mars is in detriment in some way because in this placement you may not um, be so focused on reading like fine details and be so like you could, you could just be like alright boom blah, 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 sign the dotted line and next thing because you weren't you were just so on the go like you didn't even realize that damn like I didn't even mean to sign that so it's just one thing about this placement because it is Mars and Gemini and Gemini rules communication and paperwork and stuff like that just be careful like I don't know your chart specifically but just be careful as to like what it is that you um sign and stuff like that like it's not a big deal, but if your Mars is afflicted or, you know, you have like Pluto or um, different planets conjuncting um, Mars, it could definitely, you probably do need to be more careful about um, reading over fine details and stuff like that. Now, like I said, this placement, the tongue is very like you're very witty and it operates quicker than the mind like sometimes you can have foot and foot and mouth syndrome um, like you could probably say something that like you, you didn't even think about it you like you just said it like that's your 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 action like it's basically just to use your words so sometimes you don't really slow down and think about um, unless you got some kind of earth in your chart to help to balance it out um, but for the most part, the tongue does move quicker than the mind and you are very talkative and argumentative. Now, because Mars rules sex and what you, what you like in bed, basically Mars and Gemini people are turned on by words. They like to pillow talk. They like to um, just talk about 
sex like sometimes they could be satisfied with like phone sex or just talking about sex talking about what they gonna do like they just really get stimulated by talking about sex and men in this and this is mostly for the men like you're the type of guy that you really know how to spit game like you know how to spit game in the bedroom outside the bedroom like you like talking about sex you know what I'm saying like that's just how you are like you can also be kind of detached in bed like you don't really like heavy emotions like you're not the type of person that is sit there and spew even though you're um, a very communicative sign, you're not the type of person that likes to communicate about very deep and heavily um, emotional topics. Like you kind of keep things light and that's how you are in bed too. Like you like to keep things light and very playful. You're very playful in bed and you know how to like um, really use your words to get what you want. Um, I know women with their Mars in Gemini are attracted to men who are very intellectual, men that know how to communicate very well. They may like for guys to, you know, talk up a good game to them. Like these girls are those type of, or women are those types where you can get, you can win them over by talking to them or just, you know how some people say actions speak louder than words. I mean, I hope for everyone that's like a quote that they stand by but with this placement it's like words to you is like what makes you like okay like I could get with this like you know what I'm saying like you really like to be stimulated by words and you get turned on by dirty talk you know both men and women with this placement like you guys like dirty talk all types of stuff like that so when it comes to like your sex life um, you're very open and and um, you like to express your sex life um, with your friends or whatever you like to communicate about it and yeah you're just you're a very cool open sign like I said Mars does okay here it's a neutral placement so Mars can Mars and Gemini um, can get things done very well very easily you know they can get shit done like yeah but because you guys get bored easily and you're not so into stability you can frequently change partners or your relationships just may not last that long because you just when something settles you it, it's just boring to you like you need this constant need of like a battle like you need to like constantly feel like something has to be won in a relationship like <laughs> You want it to be a challenge like you don't want it to be just oh you got the girl you still always want to feel like you got to keep getting her or him or like whatever the case may be so yeah that's pretty much what I have for Mars in Gemini like I said it's a very neutral placement Mars does okay here um, it does what it needs to do it has a lot of energy to get things done um, you're very communicative and you express what you want and how you get things is by like your communication how you talk you know how you're very good with words Mars and Gemini people could also be great writers you know they may like to write you know I'm saying they could be very great artists a lot of Gemini people are good rappers like they're good with words they're good poets like they're good with working um, with that realm with um, writing so yeah that's pretty much it like I said in all my videos if you want to add more information go ahead and comment down below let me know what you think of this video if you have this placement let me know if you have other planets with this placement and what is it like having this placement so that other people can get a better and more broader information as to how other people deal with it so please go ahead and comment down below if you stayed all the way to the end go ahead and spam me some star emojis also don't forget to smash the motherfucking like button if you like the video share the video with someone that you know that's interested interested in astrology um share my channel go ahead follow me on instagram this is starting to sound like a long ass ad so that's pretty much what i have to say and i'll see you in another one Mwah. peace